everybody. This is Dr. Madison Saylor coming to you from Sex Wellness Center here in Gaylord. I'm a chiropractor and I like to make weekly videos so that we can communicate and get a couple more facts out there to you guys. So today it's Thursday. I thought maybe we would start with some trivia, trivia Thursdays. So for our very first topic, I'm going to ask you, are we taller in the morning versus night or are we the same throughout the day? Take a few seconds to think about your answer. And the answer is we're taller in the morning. The reason is gravity. So as we walk around all day, the gravity is pulling on our spine and our discs lose just a teeny bit of fluid. So we get just a tiny bit shorter at night versus the morning. It's actually the same phenomenon if you would see in astronauts, they actually grow a little bit when they're in space. They're not actually growing, but because they don't have the same gravity pulling down on them throughout their day, they actually grow a little bit in space. So that was our first trivia. Let's move on to the next one. Now the next one is smoking. I know it's bad for our lungs. You know it's bad for our lungs. But the question today is, is smoking bad for our spine? Take a few seconds to think about it. And the answer is yes. Smoking is not only bad for our lungs, but it's bad for our spine. Why would it be bad for our spine? Well, the answer is blood flow. Because we smoke, we actually reduce the blood flow that goes to our spine. So the bones and the ligaments and the discs aren't getting the nutrients that they need to maintain their integrity and their strength. So a lot of times if you have a relative or yourself that is up for, unfortunately, a spinal surgery, they have their time in their place, but obviously I'd like you guys to try chiropractic first. But if you do have to get a spinal surgery, you will notice that your surgeon will not do surgery on you unless you quit smoking. And that is because if they do the surgery and you do still smoke, you'll, you will not heal like if you were a non-smoker because blood flow. And to heal, we need blood flow. So just another reason to kick that nasty habit. Now for our third trivia. This is my favorite one of the day. Do humans have the same number of bones in their neck called vertebra as giraffes? Take a few seconds to think about it. There's a big difference in size there. I bet you didn't guess this, but the answer is yes. Giraffes and humans have the same number of neck bones in their necks. Giraffes can look into a second story window without even having to stand on their tippy toes, but they have seven bones in the neck just like humans do, except their neck weighs 600 pounds. That's a big difference between us and giraffes, but we have the same number of bones in the neck. So our fourth Trivia today is a little bit more of a fact than a true or false or a question is the very top bone in our neck, number one, is called the atlas. It has a special name and the name comes from Greek mythology. There was a titan in their mythology that had to carry the weight of the world on his shoulders. So as scientists and doctors, we thought it would be a good idea to name number one atlas after this because we are carrying the weight of our head on our necks. So I thought that was a pretty cool fact to share with you guys. And the next one is babies have more vertebra, again, vertebra is the bones that make up our spine, than adults. What do you think? Same or different? And the answer is they actually have more. The reason is when we're born, you might remember hearing about the soft spot in your baby's head, don't push on it. Same type of thing, the bones in the neck and the back actually end up fusing together as we grow. So babies actually are born with 33 vertebra, the bones that stack up on top of each other and make our spine, whereas adults only have 26. So if you see my spine model here behind me, the reason that the babies have more bones than us is if we look down towards the pelvis area, so this is like if you put your hand on your hip, top of your hip, and this is called our sacrum bone. And this little pointy part down here is our tailbone called the coccyx. So this ends up being five bones when we're born and three bones when we're born. But as we grow and we become adults, those five in the sacrum fuse together to become one bone. And the three in the tailbone fuse together to also become one bone. So that's why we have less bones in our backs than babies do. One other fact that I wanted to tell you guys, not so much a question as a fact, is I don't know if you knew this, and I just found this out today, they're actually starting to use robots to do back surgeries. The reasoning that they're doing this is the same with anything as technology advances. Humans want to learn how to help humans using the technology. And at this point, we're just starting to use robots for back surgery. And scientists and doctors are very pleased with the results. They have 
less incision size. And so that means less blood flow and faster recovery time for their patients. And hopefully we'll start seeing the robots in more hospitals than just the one that they just started at the end of last year. So I thought that was really cool. Be on the lookout for that in the future if you're interested in science like I am. And last but not least, I wanted you guys to know if you are a back pain sufferer or neck pain sufferer, you're not alone. Up to 80% of adults in America and around the world can suffer at least one episode of back pain in their life. And so it's not just me telling you guys this. I also wanted to bring up a couple names because we are all into celebrities knowing if we're not alone. So some of the big ones that I found that have back pain problems, which we might have heard of the news recently, Tiger Woods, we have heard about his numerous surgeries, but some other lesser known ones is, did you know that John F. Kennedy had actually a broken back? At one point, he had broken one of those little bones that stack up on top of each other and make our spine, so that was kind of interesting. Um, Dolly Parton suffers from chronic back pain. George Clooney had a back injury, and Peyton Manning had a pinched nerve, a football player. I mean, we can kind of see how that comes along. That's a pretty rough sport, so would be hard to escape a back injury or two in those days. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. I really enjoyed sharing these facts and true or false with you guys. So if you like this video, make sure you give us a like and share and tell your friends. And we'll be back next week with another video. Thank you.